Yo, hello everyone! Are you an author or self-publisher looking to sell your ebooks online? WordPress offers a versatile platform for creating an online store and promoting your digital product. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of creating a WordPress website specifically designed for selling ebooks. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first thing guys that I will need you to do is simply head up to your browser and launch WordPress dashboard. Next thing is go ahead into the appearance and we're gonna start with choosing a good template for our website. So, let's choose an appearance for our ebooks website. I'm going to click on add new from here and then click on search bar for search for themes. So, I'm going to write here ebooks, right? Wait a little bit. And here we go. So here I'm going to choose one of these templates. You can choose whatever template you'd like as long as it is compatible with your version of WordPress. So click on install now. now and then let's wait a little bit. Here it is installing. Then click on here to activate it. And now just wait a little bit more until it is fully activated and voila. Now, as you may see, click on your visit site, click here, and check how your website looks like. So, it has been changed. Let's go back and check our theme. Let's go to the dashboard first to check if there is any plugin that has to be with our appearance. So, everything looks nice. So, check our bundle, WordPress theme bundle. We don't really need to do this. Um, all we're going to do is, welcome, thank you for choosing author writer. You can click here to get started. So let's click on here and let's get started. So theme customizer, our theme options are available via customer screen. So let's click here. Here you can compare free versus pro if you'd like to. So theme demo setup, you don't have it. You don't have most of these actual uh, things, but we can actually achieve that on the process of creating our website. So don't worry about this. Now, the second thing that I will need you to do, guys, is actually add the WooCommerce plugin. So go here to the plugins, click on Add New, and then wait a little bit more. Click here and search for WooCommerce. So click here, WooCommerce, and click on Enter. So here we go. And the WooCommerce plugin is actually very helpful. It's going to make us list our products and sell them to people and it will help us as well to add payments method as you can see here payments get away with stripe paypal whatever payments you think of it will be existing using woocommerce so woocommerce is the main um, source of e-shopping using wordpress so let's wait until they are fully updated in my case i have them installed and activated i just have to update them and then i will be right back to you guys and now as you can see guys they have successfully uh, updated so what i'm going to do is actually go to here you as you can see woocommerce has been added to the main menu click on product as you can see here and then click on a new so from here, we will start creating products, which are going to be our books. So I'm going to Google and try to get some kind of uh, Game of Thrones book image. And here we go. I'm going, for example, to drag this, download it as an image, and let's try to get it over here as our image. So let's go here. So set product image, select file, and let's add this image as our main image of the book. Here we can get the actual uh, information about the product from uh, Amazon itself. So we can copy this, uh, copy the price, copy literally everything. So we can have everything correctly. Um, I don't know why I have it in Indian. I have no clue. Uh, save changes. English Indian <laughs> this is new okay how to change currency on Amazon this is new thing but it doesn't really matter I'm going to copy this paste it over here as the price um, let's actually do this to USD 
Okay, it is 37.59, so here we go, sale price. Um, I'm going to make it as 35. And for now, what I'm going to do next is simply add the description. So the description is this one. I'm going to copy this. Sorry. Go all the way up. And let's try to only copy this description. Here we go. Copy it and add it. If there is any information that you'd like to add, you can add it. I'm just doing like a tutorial of an example. And in our case, it's going to be an ebook. So it is downloadable and virtual. Here we shall add the downloadable files that are going to be PDF or a Word. I don't know. It is completely up to you. And here, choose how many times the user can install it. And the download expiry. So the link will expire after like for example uh, five days seven days one week two weeks etc here go to inventory we can actually don't put any inventory because it is just a file it has a limited download uh, limits here for linked product we can actually add other products are related to our product which is game of thrones we can actually have other uh, parts of game of thrones other chapters uh, the same gender uh, genre of uh, game of thrones uh, i don't know you can add here whatever linked products have the same relationships here for attributes we're gonna skip it for advanced you can add some purchase notes and the menu order and finally here there is some kind of extra stuff that you can add as uh, shipments and etc and they are not really uh, important for our case since we don't really have to ship it because it is only an ebook it's not a real book here we should add it to a new category which is ebooks add new category and we have successfully added to it you can here add some tags as if like uh, game of thrones nights is uh, the winter is coming and so much more tags that you can add and if there is any other gallery that you like to add you can add it through here once you're finished click on publish and it shall be published to everyone to see it. So this is our first product, which is our ebook. So this is some problem that I have faced with my website. I can't actually see the data and the website in general because uh, I have done some kind of mistake with my own template. So I have to change the template to be compatible with WooCommerce. But in general, yeah this is how it works so the next thing is make sure to have your template works with woocommerce so in case you don't know how to do that you can just go here wordpress woocommerce supported template and you shall have here all the templates that are supported by woocommerce and can just go ahead and download them so here we can find bookings and adoption digital and audio so this is for digital you can simply just click on one of these so for example matthew uh, as you can see here download this one it is it will cost you around ten dollars per month or 129 per year you can get it and start using it as your main template but overall that's how you can start set up in your ebook website it will not take that long as long as you have the list and everything ready so yeah guys that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial